Hello and welcome back to some more Halo Infinite, where last time we played through the Spire mission, which was awesome, and we had a really intense battle against the, uh, against the, the, the Vice President Monitor or whatever, and today, we are going to be heading to the next mission of the campaign, assuming the Warthog doesn't flip over a million goddamn times, which is going to be Pelican Down, and for those of you who are unaware, this is the location that was shown off in the E3 demo last year, uh, so we're gonna try to recreate this as best as we can. Probably not gonna be able to do it successfully because, of course, we don't have the same weapons that we did beforehand. Um, so we can't, it can't be an exact replica, but first, I wanna try to do this as similarly as, as we can just to kinda get that full E3 feel. Uh, and obviously, it's not gonna be exact. I'm, I'm already doing things way differently than what than was done in the trailer. Uh, but you know. Okay, so I know there's brutes up, there's brutes and elites up ahead, so I'm gonna get a needler here because I need to prepare. Actually, I could, I like, actually, you know what? I kinda wanna stay with the heat wave. Well, I want to, but there's no, excuse me, thanks for playing. I want to stick with this, but there's no ammo left for it, and there's no refill stations anywhere, so I kind of have to ditch this for something else, uh, which is unfortunate, because I really, really like this, this, uh, this shotgun, uh, but I can grab this, which was used in the demo, uh, and honestly, when I first saw this in the demo, like, I liked every weapon that was shown off in the demo last year, except the commando, I, I just, I really could not get into the commando when I saw it, it's like, eh, I don't know how I feel like that, um, well, but first, wait, wait, wait. More important than anything else. Hold on, hold on. It's Craig. It's we got We gotta see Craig. Craig. It's Craig. Yeah, honestly, honestly, it is an honor to have been killed by Craig. It is an honor to have been killed by the man himself, Craig. That was him. That was the guy that dropped. The Craig was the guy that dropped out of the left pod last year. Uh, so to have been killed by Craig is nothing short of an honor. Uh, still have the, okay, still have the Bulldog. I, I, I want to not trigger it, uh, this time, because I, I want to actually get up there myself. To see how it goes. Right, so we'll, we'll hold on to this. Kind of running short on ammo here, but I, I can, I can make this work. I can make this work as soon as I pick up this and do a little bit of that. Uh, I want to, oh god, that's, that's right, that's probably ready to explode. Oh lord. Okay, any more corals nearby that I can grab? Perhaps, mayhaps, may I get lucky? P probably not, okay. Uh... Okay, there's one right here. So let me toss this at you, and then Craig! It's Craig! Unfortunately, he's dead. I did unfortunately have to kill the legendary Craig, but you know what? You're s oh my God! There's more. Okay, there's more. There's more now. Um, all right, couldn't catch that. I wanted to try to catch that in midair and throw it back at him. I was unsuccessful, as you saw, but would have been cool if I could have done it though. Would have been very cool if I could have done that. All right, nice. Hello, friends. Death to both of you. And the third guy as well. Okay. I need ammo. And I need it badly. So, uh... Needler needs ammo. I, I need ammo for everything. My, my weapons are, are, are scarce right now. Heat wave? I'll, I'll take the heat wave. I'm, I'll happily accept the heat wave. Uh, I'll also refill my kinetic ammo. But I don't... I kind of don't want two shotguns. That's kind of not going to work out too well for me. Uh, excuse me? Hello, grunts. Goodbye, grunts. Oh, marines! Hold on. Don't mind if I save some marines and possibly anything else nearby that I can grab. I never gave up hope. Okay, I'm not going to throw a coil at you. That will probably kill you. I'm going to just shoot this down with the bulldog. Because I know there's kinetic ammo up there that I can refill it with. And goodbye. Or maybe not goodbye. Now it's goodbye. Okay, don't want, I'm, I'm going to grab the mangler. I, don't, I definitely don't want two shotguns because I have the heat wave. So I'll grab this for now. Ooh, actually, kind of want that. I haven't, I haven't got to use the, the psychic all that much. You know, oddly enough, I have not gotten to use Chief's main weapons, that being the assault rifle and the, and the sidekick, all that, or the assault rifle and the pistol, all that much. Haven't gotten to use them all that much. Would have loved to, though. Would have loved to gotten to use these throughout the course of the campaign until this point. But I've just, I've just been wanting to experiment with some of the, because a lot of the times in multiplayer, it kind of boils down to the, uh, boils down to the assault rifle and, and pistol a lot of the time. I mean, I do still use the other weapons, like Pulse Carbine and stuff like that a lot of the time, and they're very useful. But, for the most part, you always end up using the Assault Rifle and the Magnum. Or, sorry, Sidekick. But, because it's campaign, uh, I, I want to be able, I have a better chance to experiment with some of the other weapons. And this is the pro I just keep getting, I just keep wanting to explore elsewhere. I, remember when I said I wanted to stick to what the demo was? Yeah, well, that, I kind of abandoned that real quick, didn't I? I, I just kept, my, my inability to stay the course, and I just kept getting distracted. Kind of ruined that plan. But nonetheless, uh, is this good? Heat Wave? Eh, we'll make this work. We'll make this work. But yeah, this this honestly might be my favorite pistol in the entire game so far. It's close. Cause I, or sorry, in the entire series so far, I should say. 
I really, really like this this iteration of the pistol. It might outstrip even the original pistol from Comet Evolved, which is really saying something. Yeah, they they really changed the look of this place from the demo. Of course, the same layout is is the layout's the same of, of this section because they kind of couldn't change this section all that much. Because uh, obviously, then they would have been like false advertising and all that, and they definitely don't want to repeat that mistake. Because Halo Five taught taught three four three the lesson of uh, what false advertising can do to a game. I missed that shot horrendously. Okay, let's try that. Uh, is that gonna kill the Marines? I'm not sure. Did it kill them? No, it didn't. They're alive. Great. Good to know. All right, give me this. Now, let me throw that in there. Don't miss this time. Nailed it. Okay. So I'm. I'm guessing we're not gonna get a speech from Eshram, because it would be really weird to have this dramatic, intense uh, speech from the villain just in the randomly in the middle of the game after this random AA gun mission. Uh, I, I feel like that was something that was well, only Eshram might show up, but it's probably not gonna be the same hype generation speech we saw in, in the E3 demo, or sorry, not E3, the Xbox Game Showcase demo. Because it would just, it would just, like I said, it would feel, the pacing of it would feel a little off. That seems like a, a speech that was crafted specifically to put in the trailers, uh, just to kind of act as a hype generation, to give a, give a summary of the story while showing off the gameplay. But first, let me, uh, play this audio log, see what, see what we had to hear from the banners this time. Interesting, because that's the thing. She said it was in the last episode. She said that the activation sequence to repair the ring was triggered incorrectly, which doesn't seem like something you would want to trigger incorrectly, unless you deliberately wanted it to go awry. Also, uh, don't mu take that for me. Really? For me? What's next, Chief? Uh, I don't know. Birthday present? Who knows? But I kind of, I kind of want to try this the standard assault rifle pistol for a while. See how it goes. Because the assault rifle is easily the best in the entire series. Which isn't to say the others are bad, because for as much for as much of a bad rap as they get, trust me, the um the assault rifle. Okay, I need I need a better plan of attack than this. Is there a coil nearby that I can grab? I'm um, I'm hoping there is, because I don't know what I don't, I don't have a actually wait, no, the, if it's the same as the demo, there's one up there. So let me see if I can flank around this way. Like up here, let me try. Uh because I know there was a coil right there. Yep, same place as it was in the demo. And take that. Nice, very nice. Thank you, E3 demo, or Xbox Game Showcase demo, for allowing me. And also thank you, Marine, for letting me supporting fire with the heat wave. And it's been remanded. Unfortunate. All right, let me hide here for a second. Take out the grunts. Give me another one of those. And yeet. Boom. All right, you, you want to remand it a third time? I dare you. I dare you to remand that a third time. Go, give it a shot. Try to remain that a third time. See what happens. See what happens when you remain that gun a third time. Do it. I dare you. I dare you to jump in that gun a third time. Don't do it. You're not gonna like what happens. Okay, they're not gonna do it. In that case, uh, yeet. I missed. All right, great. I missed. I missed. I missed. I missed. Hold steady, buddy. Nice. Oh, the assault rifle is so good. The assault rifle is because it was good in Halo uh, four and five, and it was even pretty decent in Halo three as well. And in Combat Evolved, it can be used effectively, just not, not the same caliber as the other games. But it's never, it's never been as good as it is now in Halo Infinite. This is easily the best iteration of the Sir Rifle, and honestly, I'm glad I, I get to use it now, because I haven't got to use it all that much throughout the game so far, which I'm kind of sad about, because I really like this weapon combo of AR, AR pistol for multiplayer. So I'm glad I can finally use it in this section. And in the mission, that, the only, the only one mission I knew was going to be in this game from the, from the trailers, thanks to the E3. I keep calling it the E3 demo, because, like, it wasn't E3, because E3 kind of didn't happen. Uh, but it was 
it was it was essentially an E3. It's what would have been shown off at E3 had E3 actually happened, which of course it didn't. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. When I say E3 demo, you know what I'm talking. Well, actually, I guess maybe not. Oh no. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That might kill me. Yeah. Okay. I got a little too aggressive. I ran out of ammo. I got way too aggressive there. But where's question? Last checkpoint was where? Am I gonna be upset? Nah, that's a good checkpoint. I can make this checkpoint work. I was I was expecting a lot worse. I thought it might have been all the way down the hill, which would have been less than ideal. Okay, grenades, give me frags out. Throw a frag. Uh, uh, that was a waste because they're already gone. Okay. Uh, and I didn't even get this guy. Okay. That's fine. It's fine. Yeah, there's a lot. There, I feel like there's a lot more enemies here than there were in the demo. Like, a lot more enemies here than there were in the demo. Okay. Uh, take a little bit of this. No, I missed it. I missed. I missed. I missed. I missed. I missed. Okay, hold on. Uh, drop wall. Let me put this down for the Marines so they have some supporting fire. Let me also go ahead and take these guys out who are harassing my Marines. Meanie heads. And let me put a threat into them so I know what's down there. Uh, hold steady, partner. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the flank. I'm gonna go for the flank. Never saw me coming. Never saw me coming. Take that out. Oh, we got, but I, I almost never saw you coming. And now you're dead. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, no. Okay, you're there. Gonna need to get a thruster out. I need to thrust away if I need to. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine for now. We're fine for now. Get stuck. I missed the stick. That's fine. That's fine, though. That's fine, because he's dead anyway. Whew. Nice work, Marines. You survive? You survived. Nice. It did feel good. You're right. Very nice work. Unfortunately, the heat wave person probably died, so you can take their heat wave. And I will retrieve this, which I'm gonna need some ammo for in a second. All right, area clear. Yeah, so the whole playing according to the demo thing didn't didn't go according to plan, but uh, we still made it work. Is there any ammo refills though? That's a, that's a that's a nope. All right, is, is that room gonna show up? Oh, what are we doing? Oh, we have to get up top. There. Okay, so this so this wasn't even kind of in the demo. You came up here and you pushed the button. There was there wasn't even anything to push here, so I guess that was just not even kind of correct. All right. I forgot I don't have the grapple shot enabled. Let's fix that, shall we? Actually, I can probably just get up there with the grapple shot now. I can probably just get up here. Uh, and then do that again. And... Where am I going, actually? Okay, I'm not getting this. Is there, am, I, am I missing something here? Because there's no way to actually... Maybe I... They wouldn't make you do it in a specific order, would they? Because I don't see any way to actually destroy this thing. In the in the demo, there was a button inside here that you could hit. Uh, if it would take me up. Yeah, there we go. There's a button inside here you could hit, literally right here, and then that would summon the cutscene. But there's nothing actually here. Okay, I'm just, I don't know what... Maybe I just did this in the wrong order. Um, I know it sounds dumb to say that, but I, I cannot fathom an explanation for why it would be broken otherwise. Uh, so I guess I'm just gonna have to go elsewhere. We'll, we'll, we'll come back here later. Uh, I don't know if the enemies are gonna respawn or not. I'm hoping that they won't. And we'll, we'll just try again later. We, we'll, we shall try it. We'll, we'll try to come back to this gun a little bit later. Because uh, other than... Uh, other than just... Me do you having to do the, the guns in a specific order? I can think of no other reason for why, um, for why they wouldn't let you do for why there's no thing to act, nothing to actually trigger it. There it seems very, very silly. I need okay, hold on. I need to. Oh, you have a sword. I'll take that and I'll take this. Thanks. Behind me, don't mind if I uh, sword you real quick. If you want to come back here, come back here, little grunt. I shouldn't have ditched my uh, weapons because then I could have gotten a refill here. Damn it. Oh well. Yeah, I, I don't know what happened there. Because, I, again, I guess I could have been missing something, but there's nothing... I, 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 I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to just shoot the actual thing. As in, like, you're not supposed to shoot, literally shoot down the gun. That would be silly. So we'll just come back later. And see if we can figure out a better way to do that. I'm My only guess is that I'm, I'm gonna just do it in the order that the game tells because the, the, it has the, the usually you, you haven't had to do it in a specific order You've been able to do it in any, in any order you want just from uh, Like wh whenever the game gives you multiple objectives you can do it in any order you want But this time I tried to do the West first and that's the bottom on the list So on the off chance that I did literally just do it the wrong in the wrong order And I have to do this in the order it's all listed in 
I will go back this way and see how this, see, see how it all goes down. Let's see, it would seem weird if that were the case, but you never know. You never know. And it's worth a shot nonetheless. I probably shouldn't have abandoned my Warthog, though. That probably would have been a would have been a better idea. But, I mean, because it would seem... Because, like, th surely they, they would have assumed that most players would try to do that one first, right? Because that's that's the one they should... The, the, the one they showed in the demo is one that I was just at a second ago. Also, that's a ghost that I'd like to hijack for myself. If I can get close enough to do it. Which is easier said than done. Let me get over here. Hey, ghost. Where'd you go, buddy? Behind me? I see you there, and now this ghost is mine. Thank you kindly. Now hold steady for the plasma turret. Alright. So the gun's over there. Let's go ahead and boost our way in this direction to get there nice and quick. And I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try to hold on to this ghost this time, because I kind of abandoned my warthog somewhere over by the west gun. So we'll head to this one next and see. Let me see let's just splatter you. Okay, don't hijack me, don't hijack me, don't hijack me, don't hijack me. Just get splattered instead. Yeah, the ghost. The ghost is definitely the... Pardon me. Oh, sniper. Sniper in the tower, huh? Sniper in the tower. All right, well, one sniper's dead, but there's one... Oh, God, there's snipers everywhere. Okay, there's snipers everywhere, huh? All right, well, in that case, maybe maybe it's a better idea to abandon the ghost and to try to flank it from behind. Let's, I'm going to clear out these clear out these grunts silently, as, or as silently as I can so that they don't hear me. Uh, cave? Hold on. What have we in this cave right here? We have more grunts. All right. Any audio logs or anything? Hmm. This is a bizarre cave to find. Oh. Ah, Spartan Core? That might be a Spartan Core. If it's a Spartan Core, I'll happily accept that because we are in dire need of Spartan Cores. Yep, Spartan Core. Nice. All right. How are we doing on Spartan Cores now that I'm actually here? Uh, we are... Well, we have two. So we can upgrade the thrusters to reduce the cooldown. I think I'm just going to get this right now. Uh, just so we can get this for the to deal with hunters, because if, if we're gonna see more hunters, I'll definitely wanna definitely wanna hold on to that. The entrance to this AA gun requires a power source with a grab lift beneath it. I just, just a reminder: the music for for Infant has been on point so far. Like honestly, possibly contender for best soundtrack. And I I had to open my mouth and talk. I had to open my mouth and talk. There's there's two hunters literally right freaking there. They're right there. Okay, where did you go? Hey, stop! Ah, excuse me. Get down. Okay, now back down. Get the hell away. Get the hell away from this section. Hunters are a problem. I literally was just talking, just not one second ago, talking about how hunters are starting to become... We've already seen a pair of hunters. Nope, now they, they're going to show up who knows how frequently. Uh, so I need to be prepared for that. And it's a good thing I upgraded the thrusters because we're going to need some... We're going to need some thrusters for the section. And I'm actually, I might want to retrieve my Ravager, because that's probably, that probably stands a better chance against Hunters than a freaking Assault Rifle does. But I want to clear the area of all the other, well, unless you're right there. Okay, hold steady, partner. You're down. Uh, you're down. Get me away. Jesus, man. Yeah, Hunters are no joke. Hunters are no joke at all. Okay, checkpoint was where? I really am not a fan of the whole reload the whole level. Okay, well, the checkpoint's right here, so that's nice. But this might be pre-sniper death. Let me just check to see if this is pre-sniper death. Yeah, it's pre-sniper death. Okay, well, at least we know what the snipers are, so it's not that big of a deal. We know where both snipers are, so I can just go up there and yoink them off the face of the earth real quick. Howdy. Nice knowing you. All right, who we got? We got jackals down there. Let's just throw a frag towards you and then grapple you, take you out. More grunts as well. I, I gotta try to take you out before the hunters get here this time. It's the problem, I think the problem last time was I waited too long, and the hunters, by the time the hunters got here, or I didn't kill enough, so I, I, it was too much to handle at once. All right, I'm gonna wait for you to come right up next to this giant fusion thing in the center, and then, or you're gonna do that. All right, I'm um, guessing I can't grapple that. Uh, okay, okay, less ideal, less ideal. Give me a coil, give me a coil here. And yeet it towards... What the hell killed me that time? I don't even know what killed me that time. I did not see anything on my screen. I saw hunters in front of me, but the hunters weren't shooting at me, so I don't. I have no clue what killed me there. Okay. Well, maybe I should cue that a little... Maybe I should shoot down that thing a little earlier next time. Because, man, was that... Uh, the fact that my, my whole plan revolved around uh, waiting for the hunters to come up next to it and then shooting it... So that I could actually, like, I could trigger them in the explosion. Let me frag you out real quick. 
I did not do that successfully, but it's fine because I can frag you out instead. And nice. Was there another sniper I didn't get? Or was... I, 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 I genuinely do not know a kill. What is shooting me? What is? Where? Okay. Is is? Oh, there's a sniper over there. Oh, there's a sniper over there. Jesus. Jackal snipers might actually be on par with Halo 2. I'm not even kidding. They, the amount of freaking jackal snipers in this game might actually be on par with Halo 2 in terms of how annoying they are to deal with. Which is really saying something. Okay, hold on. Just give me the stalker rifle real quick. I, Because I, I need to take you off from a distance now. I need to do it quickly. So, frag there. Uh, I, that did not bounce well. Okay, just do this then. Take you down. Same thing with you. Uh, get me to cover away from the hunters and then do that nice and you can stay away from me okay that's my problem sorted now it's just the hunters now it's just the hunters so since it's just the hunters don't mind if I yeet that in your direction thrust out of the way give me another one uh thrust it nice okay and now I guess we just use the ravager if I can get uh I can get up here real quick okay I'm starting to get more used to using the uh using the equipment switcher and grenade switchers it's a work in progress but i'm kind of kind of getting used to working let me get into the cave see what's see what's over here for me to use is there anything okay there's more coils which is good i like more coils all right all right hunters where are you where are you hunters you're right there i need i need to, get, I need to stick with them with a threat sensor let's just do that for you okay i and i got him running this one okay hold on threat sensor Ugh. threat sensor you so now I, I always know where you are uh, and it looks like it's gonna affect your buddy as well since he's he's near enough to you where it'll be a, it'll be a, it'll affect you uh, But I need another weapon. I need it now. Uh, I guess I'll just grab a needler for the time being uh, I'm assuming this is the power source. Okay, let's activate this I mean it gave me a checkpoint, so that's that'll it. The gravity lift is on. Let's get inside and shut this gun down. Yeah, I, that I would do that if it weren't for the fact that there were two giant hunters in my way That kind of causes some problems. Okay. Uh, I need something we don't, we don't have any we don't have any good weapons here to our advantage. I, I didn't prepare enough. I didn't prepare well enough for this. So anything? I think I think we're just gonna have to work with what we got. I guess. I guess I can try to stick them with grenades if I can get behind them. If I can get behind them, uh, kind of like this. Good. Get behind them and use a stalker rifle. Thrust behind them again. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Moving away. Moving away. Moving away now. Oh my god. Jesus, jackal snipers and hunters in the same area. They are not messing around. Holy hell. They are not even remotely messing around. Okay. Is there anything back here or is it just an audio log? Oh! Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do at all. That is gonna be useful. Hey, buddy. You wanna take one of these? I think you might wanna take one of these. Hold steady, partner. Okay, that one didn't kill you, but this might. Nope. That didn't kill you either. All right, well, that's fine. Still two more shots to go. We just thrust behind you. Dodge your shot. Dodge your shot. Get behind you. And rocking them both in the back. And again, that didn't kill even a single one of them. Nice. All right, buddy. Uh, don't want to zoom in. I suck him on the back, though. More shots with the stalker rifle. Okay, good, good, good. Uh, I need something. Anything? Uh, is there something over there? Nope. How about over here? Uh, so, okay, there is stuff. Over Actually, there is stuff over here. Okay, hold on. Let me get over here real quick. Uh, I actually there's too many things over here. Okay, just that's gonna that might trigger the thing. It did not trigger the thing. Okay, I, I gotta go. Gotta go. Too, I, I'm taking on too much at once. This is not going well. This is not going well at all. Actually, get me back here and away from the battlefield. Were there any more coils? Okay, there's more coils over here. Coils are gonna save my life in this situation. Okay, hello. I didn't want to grab that, but I still I'm still holding on to it, so it's fine. Get the thruster out. All right, Hunter. I need the I need a threat sensor. You. And I need to thrust. Uh, that was a waste, I think. I think that was very much a waste. I didn't hit you. I didn't even kind of hit you with that. I got. I got to end this one a bit better than the last one. Uh, try that. Did I get one of them? Uh, maybe. Unsure. I only see one. I might actually. Oh, I did. I got one. Okay, that's that's progress. That's progress. I, I got one of them. Come on. Thrust behind him. Good. The. Uh, oh wow. They turn around real fast. They did not use to turn around that quickly. They used to take a second. Like that was probably what, what was part of what gave you the advantage was if you got into if you could bait them into punching you, you could you could um oh they can jump they can jump that's what they can do they can jump 
Stuck him, stuck him. Nice! Oh my god. Like I said, man. Hunters, do not mess around. Holy hell. That was intense. In all the right ways. Like, it's not... The only thing I would say about that might be kind of unfair about that, to a minor degree, is the fact that the, um... They turn around a lot faster than they used to. They didn't used to turn around that fast. They, they definitely, uh... They definitely, definitely buff the hunters in that in that regard. It used to take them significantly longer to actually properly turn around. So after, basically, the way it works is the strategy for fighting hunters is you you bait them to turn you bait them to swing towards you, then either thrust around them or strafe around them. And then once you do that, excuse me. Once you do that, see, see, this is what I mean. This is what this thing right here, this button. This is what I expected to see at the other one, but there was nothing here. Okay, this, this makes more sense. So, do you actually have to do it in the right order? That'd be kind of annoying if you had to do it in the right order, because otherwise, what's the like? The whole, I thought the whole point was you could do it in any order you want. But anyway, uh, yeah. So that's that was the strat. But part of the strat of bait them to melee, thrust around, and then attack them from behind was that the fact that it took them a second to actually turn around so that you could have a chance to attack them. But the window for attacking them is significantly less than it was previously because of how quickly they turn around. But we can make it work. Me in and I'll take care of the cannon. They call this security, please. Hold tight. I'll handle it. Oh, oh, are we going to are we actually going to going to get an extra speech? Oh my god, we're actually gonna get the Ashram speech. Your people are broken, scattered, haunted, defeated. I need. <laughs> so awesome. I wish I could tell you it was difficult, but it wasn't. <laughs> we are one step ahead, always. The ring is already under our control. Soon, the auditorium is well. The Harbinger and the Banished share the same goal. We fight together to honor the will of Atriarchs. But without challenge, I grew weary, lost, alone. Hoping you'd know the answer to that one. I'm new, remember? Okay, I'm done here. So <clears throat> that was something I never actually thought about. I exposed the gun's generator, destroy it, and the fuse is ticking. I thought about it like in within the past few weeks. Uh while I was just watching the trailers over and over again. Hyping myself up for the final game. Uh, but I never... Like, when I first saw the trailer... I didn't actually... Think about the... The line he said. Because I was so focused on just everything else about his... Sp oh. Harbinger and the Banished shared the same goal. Rebuild the ring. But why? Maybe they want to go home too. Yeah, so th there's a lot to break down about that. I, I, I can't... I, I'm gonna try to do it all the best I can. So, uh, in, in, in summary, for, first thing of, of, of note is that that is literally his speech from the E3 demo. And it's, it's just as awesome as it was back then. I think it's definitely more epic in the demo uh, that they showed off. 
because in the demo you had set a fire in your heart playing and set a fire in your heart is a phenomenal piece of music uh oh audio log okay so i don't want to listen to that i'm gonna fight this battle and then I'll listen to that because i don't want to add more lore onto what i'm already talking about so uh next thing auditorium I don't know what that is, because I and I, I don't know why I never thought about it, because it, that, like that, that's a very deliberately mysterious thing that you'd think would spark discussion. But not only did I never see anyone else discuss it online, but I never even gave it any thought myself, because the rest, because I was just focusing on the rest of the speech. Mainly, I think it's because the harbinger, like that word, is what caught people's attention more than anything else. So I don't know what that is, but I'm sure we'll find out soon. But above all else, the harbinger and the banished share the same goal. I'm pretty sure they don't. Because they think that they think that the banished think the harbinger is on their side to rebuild the ring, but I don't think she is because the harbinger clearly is anti forerunner, and the forerunners built this ring or built the rings, the halo rings, to contain the flood to wipe all wipe out all sentient life in the universe. So if she's anti forerunner, you wouldn't think she'd want to be helping the banished rebuild something of the forerunners. And I, my theory to support that is like I, th I think she wants them to think they're helping him, which is why she activated the the reformation sequence. But the weapon said she did it incorrectly. Like something about the activation sequence was incorrect. So it seems like she's she wants them to think he's she's helping them, but she really has her own agenda. And I don't. I really. I just want to know. I want to know so much more. Okay, banish dialogue. Well, let's see. More talk of the auditorium. I don't know what, because that's never been mentioned in any of the previous Halo games. What the auditorium is. Really, none of the none of the stuff on Zeta Halo was ever mentioned in a previous game. So I I don't know what to expect. When I don't know, I just so much of this game is just me asking questions. I I do not know what to expect moving forward. But I'm so excited to find out the answers. The first things first. Uh, next AA gun. Uh, we're headed to this one. We're gonna head to the north one, which I believe is just the one right in front of me. Because the west one, is that a propaganda tower right here? Do I need to kill another propaganda tower? I do. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. We have some business to take care of here. Get me up here and, uh, yoink. Nice knowing you, friend. Okay, so yeah, the... It seems weird. I, I wonder if it just glitched or if you actually can't... Maybe they want you to do it in this order because they want you to hear Eshram's speech first. That might be it. That might be what it is, actually. Um... But I, I wish they could have just triggered. If that is what it is, I wish they could have just. Oh my god, the ring is gorgeous. I wish they could have just triggered it so that it could have Eshram's speech play at any of the any other any of the things, uh, as, as opposed to just that one, because that's that that kind of threw me off. That because I thought you could do them in any order, and it doesn't really, it doesn't because it, it shows the three dots on the thing, in, implying hey, you can do these in any order you want. Just do them all. So I thought for sure, like, I, I, I wouldn't, it wouldn't matter the order I did them in, but I, maybe it does. Who knows? Uh, again, it could have just glitched. Well, I'll know, when I do my legendary playthrough, I'll know if, if it glitched or if it actually is the case of you have to do it in this order. So I'll, we'll, we'll find out soon enough. Alright, give me this. Uh, I, not what I had in mind, but it worked anyway, so. No complaints. And don't have any plasma weapons, so don't need that refill. I could use a kinetic refill, though. If you have any of that nearby, which doesn't seem like you do, but if you do, I would love to get it for myself. Assuming I don't screw. Okay, hold on. Let's get the drop ball, drop ball, drop ball, drop ball. Thanks, friends. Uh, just to buy me, just to buy me some time to kick your asses in a second. Hold steady. Okay, I need. Uh, I'm out of grenades. I'm out of grenades. This is bad. 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 Okay, the the, the, drop, the drop ball kept me alive for the time being. So I'm gonna deploy another one up here in a second, just to buy. Just to hold on. Man, it takes a long time to recharge. Can I can I reduce the cooldown on this thing? 
I'm not, well, once I survive this battle, I'm going to check my upgrades to see if I can reduce the cooldown on this thing. Because I am in desperate need of a cooldown uh, reduction for that. Because it takes a long, long time to recharge the drop wall. Okay. We're safe now. So, on that note, to the upgrade section, to the drop wall down here. Uh, strength of wall size. Okay, no, we can't reduce the cooldown, unfortunately. Which I guess would make sense, because if you couldn't reduce the cooldown, you would just place them everywhere. So I guess that makes sense. Let's do I wish. I do kind of wish I could reduce it a little bit, because it is. It takes a long, long time to properly recharge. Alright, only 11 shots of this thing left, so I'm going to make the most of them. And I'm going to try to mitigate the amount I have to fire by uh, using one of these bad boys. And are there no elites here? Alright, I guess not. Take that. Nice. Oh, maybe actually. Oh, okay, there's no elites, but there is a brute over there. And so I gotta keep an eye out for that guy. And let me just throw it. Let me try to threat sensor him. I missed horrendously. Ah! And I didn't even see that grenade. That just completely slipped by my slipped by my field of vision. Uh, achievement for all seeing. Use the threat sensor 50 times. Okay. Uh, where's this checkpoint? This appears to be before I before I fought off this group right here. Oh, actually, this this seems to be w really far back. Yeah, cause I, oh yeah, cause I have way more shots of the pistol than I did before. I think this is really really far back, actually. Uh, no big deal though. I can simply try again. Actually, maybe I can use this just to kind of save some ammo for the pistol. Probably better because I have way more ammo for this than I do for the pistol, so I'll save some ammo here. Uh, no, still no kinetic refills, but maybe because the brute down there has a bulldog from what I saw. So maybe I can refill my ammo if I can get into that. Actually, let's try that. Let's see if I can get in there from the side without them even knowing I'm here. Can I get in this way? I can't. But I might be able to flank stealthily through a door like right uh, like right here. Nice. Uh, kinetic refill. No kinetic refill. Big sad. But I do have a needler here. So... Brute. Any brutes nearby? Right, let's frag out in that direction and down here. Let's see if I can pull that towards me. So I can take you out. Or at least take one of you out. Hello, Brute! Don't you bulldog me. Thanks. Thanks for playing. Okay, here's something over here. What's- Oh, that's a needler. That is a needler. That is a needler that I do not want to deal with. I also don't want to waste my grenades. I think there's more inside. So let me try to stick you. Did I stick him? I stuck him. Ah, oh, I wasted it though. Wasted it. Wasted it. Wasted it. Should have saved it for you. Should have saved it for you. Get out of here. Drop ball. Drop ball. Drop ball. Oh boy, howdy. That was close. Drop ball to the rescue again. Man, the drop wall is really, really good. Drop wall is very... I, w I just wish I could reduce the cooldown, but it serves its purpose well for the time being. Okay. Uh, to get a better sense of what's over there, let me threat sensor out in that direction. Okay, I think it's... Is it one or two? It looks like it's two more brutes alive. So let me get the grapple out so I can get ready to... Because uh, I can use the grapple wall as it's equipped, so let me do that. And finish the job with the needler. Perfect. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me this bulldog. What's there? You. Get, get me into that building. Get me in there. Okay, we're good. Uh -huh. Needler, stop it. Thanks for the refill. And audio log? Audio log over here. Not the best time for an audio log. So let me clear the area and then I'll come back for the audio log. Any more uh, threat sets are out there? Okay, there's one brute down there. Just don't miss the needler shots. I missed all of them. I missed all of them. Grenade. Uh, another one. Mm, okay, at least I pushed them where I needed them to be. They're really good at dodging grenades, which, again, good. The, the more the more dynamic the AI, the better the experience, because it allows for more allows for a more challenging experience, and it allows for more, obviously, well, more dynamic AI, so better, more intelligent encounters when they can actually, when they don't just stand still and wait to get shot and wait to get, uh, wait to get stuck with grenades like some other games. So I'm happy to see that that's uh, still, in full, full, still in full swing here. It just makes it a lot harder, so I'm definitely... Legendary is going to take some practice. It's, it's going to be painful to get through, because I'm, I'm still... Still getting used to, to playing and adjusting to the, the new AI and all that, but it's been been a fun time. Now, if you don't mind, I'll take this. I felt its heat underfoot. 
I could almost taste the sulfur as it mixed with the rains. A lone tree towered above everything else. As I looked up, the sky darkened, and then the rain fell harder. Waters rose, the forest disappeared beneath the tides, swept away by its power. I had no choice but to climb. Many times, I lost my way. One moment, I was drowning, the next, gasping for air. But eventually, I reached the top. I roared at the gods, but they were silent as I looked up at the sky. The stars went dark. One by one, until there was only darkness. Yeah, I really like the audio logs. It's not, it's not like the actual story is hidden in them. The main story is still being unfurled through the cutscenes and the gameplay. But if you get the audio logs, you get a little more insight into the kind of the banished motivations. Well, not strictly motivations, but you can kind of get a better sense of their personalities. Because that, that's just him reminiscing about missing home. And so that's it's just. Just little things like that. It's not not story essential, but it's cool stuff to find that kind of enhance the story if you if you if you get it. So, definitely a big fan of how the audio logs have been going so far. Now, what wants to kill me up here? A grunt? Well, you don't know him here, so uh, boop. Nice knowing you. And more of you over there. I am running kind of. I mean, I'm, I'm doing better on ammo than I was last time I had this problem, but still could definitely you could be doing better. You're all, you survived? Excuse me, you survived that? Uh oh. Well, not anymore, you didn't. Oh, God. Needler. Thank you. Okay. I know there's a, I know that there's a sniper up to the left. But I don't know where exactly... Is it you? Okay, you're the sniper. And now you're dead. Alright, there's a lot of people over at this one. So, my question is, after we clear this AA gun, and I go back to the uh, to the one we started off on on the west, will the enemies have respawned? Um, or, or will I be safe to just kind of go there and take out the gun? Uh, let's only grab this. Pulse Carbine, all of you. Yeah, Pulse Carbine is so good. Pulse Carbine is such a good weapon. The people, I do not understand the people who say this weapon sucks. This is, might be one of my favorite new weapons in the game, honestly. It's really, really good so far. I just wish I could get a kinetic refill for my pistol. In dire need of a kinetic refill. Uh, oh, that's a ghost. That could be problematic. That could be very problematic. Alright, I gotta... Actually... Ooh, wait, is that a... <gasps> Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on. Problem, problem, problem. Problems, problems abound. Drop ball, drop ball, drop ball. Damn it, I didn't deploy fast enough. God damn it, I didn't deploy fast enough. Shoot. Ah, it's on me. I should have deployed it faster than I did. I didn't know this was... There's... Snipers are everywhere in this game, man. Snipers are actually everywhere in this freaking game. Okay, well... Uh... I guess I'll try to yeet this over to the, to the dude. When I go over there, because now I know the sniper's there. Yeah, snipers. If snipers are this painful and heroic, I'm not sure I want to know what they'll be like on legendary. All right, you're all the way up there. No. No. Can you switch, please? Please switch. Okay. I I press. I was using the equipment switcher and it wasn't switching. I I don't know what. It <laughs> I really wish they could have just had the freaking. Have it be like it always was, and just use the grenade switcher by pressing the D-pad to switch. Like instead of having to open a switcher, just use it. Um, like just just press left arrow to cycle through them instead of having to open the damn switcher. Because this is just really frustrating to use in, in a heat of battle. But now I actually, now I actually have the drop shield down. So we go ahead and no, get the dynamo grenades out, please. Throw them over there. Hopefully, hopefully that'll stun the vehicle. All right, stunned it. Good. Take them all out. Okay. Oh, this is a problem. Uh, I need I need the drop shield to recharge. I need to recharge fast. Oh god. Oh my god. There's so much over here. Oh my god. Okay. This this is gonna be bad. Uh. Oh. Mm, okay. Um. Okay. Here, here's the plan. The plan is go down here. Uh. Take you guys out real quick since you you might cause me problems. Uh. Da -da. Get back here, please and thank you. I'm good with you as well. I need I need to flank that. I need to get a better angle on that on that sniper. I need to get him out. Not what I wanted to do, but it's fine. I need to get a better angle on the sniper. He's over here somewhere. Where'd he go? 
He's right there. Give me that. Give me that. Give it to me. All right. Who wants to die? You? Uh, gotcha. Good. I probably can't hit you with a gravel shot from here, but I can at least knock the shield out of your hands. Same. Okay, hold on. This this, this is gonna work out better. I just had I just had to get a better angle. That that position was not working for me because that because the the shaker has a, has a direct line of sight on me from from over there. So this works out a bit better. The ghost is still gonna be a problem, but if I can clear these jackals, I have a better shot at grabbing that ghost. All right, dino grenades are out and gravel shot is out. Let's drop down here and try to see if we can if we can get that ghost. Or maybe I, can, I, might even, I might even be able to flank the shade turret. Let me see what's going on over here. I, I need to get a better read of the battlefield. All right, where's that ghost? Well, first, let me see if I can refill this real quick. Thank you. Did that not refill? I guess maybe this... All right, the ghost is over there. So if, if the ghost stays over there, I might be clear to flank around this way behind that shade turret. If I can just cross this gap, oh, never mind. I, th I thought it was a, I thought it was a, a death pit instead of just a, another. Sni the snipers are everywhere in this game. All right, let's get that sniper down. Nice. No one. Yep. Did he survive that? He might have survived that. Hold on. Oh God. Hello. Hey there, partner. Uh, you're stunned, and now you are dead. Okay. Let's hunker down in here. Get the drop wall out in case they flank, which they are. Drop wall. You can get this down and hide. Get it down and hide for now, while I. Okay, we only, we only have plaza grenades, so hold steady. I don't know if I killed the sniper or not, but I at least knocked him off the top of the building. Oh, are you gonna are you gonna give me a birthday present for free? A, a free ghost? Don't mind if I do, my dude. Thanks. That makes life much easier. If I, if I don't have to go out there to get the ghost, my uh oh, get away from the grenade. My plan kind of boiled down. To, uh oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay, get back here. Get back here. Hide out here. So I can't use the ghost because it might be it's it's either down or it's stuck either way you can't use it but even if I can't use it the fact that the bandage can't use it either is what, was what matters more than anything else the fact that the bandage can no longer use that thing so we're good we're good to go uh I'll, I'll keep the pulse carbine for the time being and there's did I see anything over here uh no I think we're I think we're good on stuff for the time being all right oh maybe actually we'll get the spartan core real quick assuming I don't die by you in the process okay uh give me this needler and use it against you and you're done. Perfect. Oh god. Reload, 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 reload. Use it, use it, use it. Perfect. Good, 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 good. Oh man, oh man. Get that up, get out, get out of here, shield. Okay, I don't I still know the sniper's down. But yeah, my plan was to just get up top here and then flank the shade turret and then deal with the uh then deal with the ghost later. But if the ghost is just gonna come to me, it makes my job easier. So now the game plan is grab the blast coil, head up to the top here. And then try to see if I can throw this toward the shader from a distance. And if I can't do that, then I'm not worried because I can still drop down and flank from behind. We'll see how this goes. Alright. Actually, the shader doesn't even see me. Shader does not even see me. So, uh, take a little bit of that. Nice. And then you can take a little bit of this. Perfect. Okay. Still the needler. Not ideal, kind of wanted the Pulse Carbine. I probably should have grabbed that before I came over here. But we'll, we will be fine, because I can try to stick you, or I'll fail miserably. I think I failed miserably, actually. But I don't need to have not failed miserably, because I can just get back up here, and... Doink! Alright, what was in that weapon crate over there? I saw a weapon crate back here. What was in it? It was a uh, Ravager. I had a Mangler, but I want the Ravager. Give me the Ravager. And Alright, let's do some sniping for the time being. To get rid of this needler guy and just all the grunts in general, I suppose. Strafe the needles. All right, is that area clear? I do believe that is area clear. So that was tough. Yeah, I'm I'm liking the difficulty curve. It seems like it's getting it's been getting progressively harder. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Area area is not clear. It's almost clear. Just a few more elites looks like, but it's oh man, the freaking ghost. Okay. Um. Okay, hold on. Uh, risky play. Give me. Thank you. All right, now you're all now you're all screwed. You still had a chance as long as you had the ghost, but now without the ghost, you're all are screwed. You all are absolutely screwed. But so the difficulty curve seems like it's getting, because sometimes in previous in previous Halo games, the difficulty curve has been not curve, but like the difficulty progression has been the point where it, it didn't always get progressively harder. Sometimes sometimes 
the mission balance was some some early missions were harder than later missions kind of that so it wasn't always a perfect a perfect uh, incline it wasn't always, it wasn't always a linear graph i should say in terms of the progress the difficulty increase but in this game i would say so far the difficult except for that one encounter at the end of at the end of the uh the conservatory mission which was just the worst encounter in the game so far every single encounter so far has been getting progressively progressively more difficult but not in an unfair way it's been getting appropriately more challenging which I like. I like that it's. I, I've been getting. I, second AA gun is open for business, and by open, I mean. Let's go. I like how the chief is just getting so frustrated with, with the weapons kind of cheerful attitude. But the. Uh, so if I can finish my thought process, it's, I've, been, I've gotten frustrated. Like you've heard me get frustrated at the game so far, but not because of the game's fault, just because I've been screwing up, making tactical errors. So, I am very pleased with the difficulty balancing so far. The lockdown's probably going to trigger again. But don't worry, we'll be out of here in... How many Spartans remain? Do you even know? There would have been 50 at Laconia Station, maybe more such loss. Do you feel it in your heart? Does it leave a hole? <sighs> Atriox was my finest recruit. He understood sacrificing when one is necessary. I honor his memory each day. When our enemy rises, we meet their challenge. It is why I created the Hand of Atriox. I found the best, the cruelest, the most efficient killers in the universe and taught them how to be better. <sighs> My Spartan killers are coming for you. It is your time to rise. Spartan killers? Really? Everyone is trying to kill you. <laughs> I'm done here. Now it's your turn. I'm not worried. If I can survive the profit of regret, there's nothing else you can throw me that I can't handle. There's nothing in this universe you can throw my way that I can't handle. Alright, time to go. I went the wrong way. Ah, uh, no time to change that. Let's go this way. Get away before it explodes. Whew. Oh, I'll, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I'll definitely... Oh, battle rifle? Oh, on UNSC channels. Com signature belongs to a Spartan Theodore Sorel, the one we found dead. Put it through. Spartan. Spartan. <laughs> I know you can hear me. Will you die with honor? <laughs> I doubt it. You are human. Weak. I will crack your armor, peel you from your shell. It will not be my first Spartan blood, but it will be the sweetest. They're sending a Spartan killer? <sighs> Chief, this is crazy. This is crazy. We gotta get out of here. We've gotta move. Not yet. Hold position. When this goes bad, it's on you, Chief. Remember that. Well, if this goes bad, the chief will be dead, so he's not going to be able to remember much. All right, stealth has been ruined. I plan on this being a stealthy encounter. This is not a stealthy encounter anymore. All right, drop all down. Drop all down while I plan my next move, which is going to be the use of assault rifle to kill you. And behind me, oh god, there's some behind me. There's some behind me. All right, move. Uh, grapple, grapple this way. Good, good, good. Okay, uh, thrust. Oh my Jesus Christ. Okay. I was not aware there were that many enemies in this section. I, I thought it was just going to be that brute that I could... Because none, none of them knew I was there. But then they did know I was there. Yeah, if, if the chief... If this goes bad, the chief isn't going to be able to remember much of anything. So it's not going to... Your taunt does not uh, intimidate me. Okay, let's try this a different way. Uh, never mind. It didn't, I didn't... I need to... Never mind. Because there's this guy right here who saw me when I, first, when, I, when I first came in. So it didn't work out too well this time either. 
but it's fine. At least, at least his helmet's knocked off. So we'll be... Uh, am I stuck? Am I stuck? Never mind. We, we were stuck for a second, but not anymore. Okay, the Ravager guy's the big problem. Do I have any... Uh, okay, I can try to stick him with a spike grenade. I need a threat sensor. Threat sensor out. Oh, he's got a jetpack too. Okay, at least I stuck him with a threat sensor. So we'll be fine. I, I just need to always know where he is. Okay, he's trying to flush me out. I need to move. Uh, thrust. Let's use the thrust. I need a thruster against this guy. Uh, I didn't stick him, but I can stick him this time. Uh, did I stick him? I'm not. I didn't stick him. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. This whole position. As long as I have the thruster, I can try to. Another sniper? Seriously? Oh my god, how many freaking snipers are there? How many freaking snipers are there? They are, you guys are really going over with the snipers in this game. Okay, flush my other grenade. Yep, get out, get out, get out of there. And he's dead, good. Now, sniper, where are you? I know I saw a sniper up there. So where'd you go? You didn't run away, did you? Hope you didn't run away. That'd be very cowardly of you. It'd also make me much less forgiving when I get up there myself and teach you a lesson. Jackal snipe, there you are. Goodbye. Yeah, how you like that? Nice knowing you, partner. And the needler? Oh, come on. You gotta try harder than that, buddy. I say as I miss the three round burst of the headshot. And again, there we go. Unless I got it that time. It took me longer than it probably should have. Okay. Uh, spike grenade? Oh, my god. Just ravager him. Ravager him off the cliff. Let's try to overcharge a shot on this one to blow one up. Nice. Nice. Alright. Uh, I'll grab your bulldog and I'll refill ammo for it. And we're good. Great. Perfect ammo refill. I'll also take your spike grenades because I'm running. I had no grenades there for a second. Yeah. So I'm guessing. I have a feeling we're going to have to fight the Spartan. You know, the one I keep referring to, the Spartan killer. The guy they shut off in the trailer. Uh, who, where the weapon says, Look out, Chief! He looks... And then Chief says, Angry. I'm guessing we're about to fight... Excuse me, I'm monologuing right now, Grunts. Thank you. I'm guessing that once we take out this final anti-aircraft gun, which is over there, I'm guessing we're in store for a, uh... for another boss battle against him. Which is exciting and also terrifying because the bosses have been really hard in this game. I'm appropriately hard. Really hard. And I'm... I am honestly terrified of what the bosses will be like on legendary i mean the challenge as I, I i feel like i always say it excites me and it terrifies me because the challenge does intrigue me and excites me and encourages me to you know play legendaries to find out but it is also probably going to be immensely challenging but at least at least it won't be like halo 2 where the bosses aren't hard where the bosses are hard for good reasons instead of the bullshit that halo 2 has to offer all right let me free those marines so that they can help me fight this one elite. Not that I need their help to fight this. I'll just take the elite out first, actually. There we go. Yes, yes, we are. Now get out of there, Marines. By the way, that probably should kill them. But I'm happy it doesn't. Alright. Bulldog ammo full. Pulse uh, battle rifle ammo full. I should probably also I should probably take the, the pulse carbine. It's probably the smarter choice to do here. Alright, how close are we to the Alright, it's right there. So now we find out the answer to the question. Do the enemies respawn, or is this, is this, is this going to be an easy wipe? I'm hoping that it's just going to be a thing where I, I, I stroll up and just blow up the thing. Because I, I already cleared out this gun. This was for The first thing I did was come to this gun right here and clear it out. So... And it appeared... Okay, so they did respawn. Less than ideal. I was hoping that they wouldn't respawn, but, you know, it's alright. It's fine. It's we, we cleared it out once, we can clear it out again. If we cleared out this area once, then we can clear it out again. No fear whatsoever. Just, okay, so... Let me threat sensor over there just to get a general idea of what we're dealing with. Okay, some jackals here. Oh, you want to come face me, buddy? Sure you want to do that? Got a grenade waiting for you. Which did not kill you. Uh, now I'm going to grapple that towards me and throw it back at you. Nice. Now let's see if I can hijack that shade turret. This might be a dumb idea. Can I grapple the shade turret? I can! Mine! See you later, buddy! Alright, now, uh, probably shouldn't stay here for long, should I? Yeah, I should probably, I should probably, uh, shoot you down and make myself scarce. Unless you're just not gonna, are you just not gonna challenge me? Actually, this might be an easy win. Oh, they're going up. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna have some friends waiting for me to get to the top there. Actually, this actually kind of might work out better, because this, uh oh time to move, time to move, time to move, time to move, time to move. Drop wall, drop wall, drop wall, drop wall here. 
I don't know. I don't know where I'm being shot from, but I just need to put this down until I figure it out. Okay, right there. Good to know. This more accurately matches the time of day that was shown off in that initial demo. And I think there's a Spartan Core up there, so let me grab that for myself once I clear out these these few grunts. And of course, grab that for myself. Thank you. By the way, whoever whoever was the 343 that came up with the idea to allow players to not only pick up and throw, but grapple fusion coils towards you deserves like a thousand raises. That is such an aw well, I guess I guess this whoever came up with the grapple shot in general deserves a million raises because that is such a creative a creative thing that it, it, I mean it adds so much to Halo sandbox. It's so much fun to use, and there's so much versatility to how it can be used. Uh, in terms of tactical gameplay, both in terms of player movement. Oh, I didn't want to go up. Uh oh, we're dead. I didn't want to go up. So okay, did someone come up here? Where'd they go? I know someone came up here a minute ago. I don't know where they went. Maybe they decided to piss off. Okay, well that works out for me. Yeah, see, that's weird. Maybe this just glitched. Excuse me, grunt. This is my moment, not yours. Maybe. So either you have to do, you do have to do it in a specific order. Which would be weird, considering the whole thing is that you, like, you can do it in whatever order you want. It'd be weird if that was the case. Um, I, I don't think... I think, it, I think it's more likely that the game just kind of glitched out on me. But I'll, I'll find another second playthrough. But before I hit that, I saw a Spartan Core down here somewhere. I would like to get this before I... Uh, before, excuse me, is that a Brute that I missed? Oh, it's an Elite. Okay, going in there, are you? Uh, I missed a Grenade. Grenade's a little harder to hit now. Uh, because, of course, the Elites are a lot more... Like... I cannot under I cannot overstate how impressed I am with the newly refined elite AI. They are so smart and so agile, and they they like they know how to actually strafe your shots. Oh, never mind. This wasn't a this wasn't a Spartan core. This was an armory unlock. Less ideal. All right, what do we want? Do we want anything here? Am I good with these weapons? A sniper again? Really? How many snipers do are you gonna put before you're satisfied? Okay, I think I'm good with this with this loadout. I think I'm good with a battle rifle and a pulse carbon. That's a pretty pretty surefire bet. It works better against brutes than I thought. I thought it wouldn't do much against brutes, but it's, it's it does more against their their armor than I thought it would. So, I approve. All right, so now we come full circle and we finally arrived back at the place we started this video at. Let's take out this final anti-aircraft cannon, and we're gonna get another speech from Escher room. Last one, and cue the lockdown. Huh. No Escherum? I'm almost disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> I really like her. But she, uh, but she's also not Cortana. Is there almost. All set. Let's get back to the Pelican. We did it. I don't trust this. Is there a boss in here waiting for me? Is this going to become a boss arena after I hit this thing? Is there a Spartan killer? Suppose the gun's generator. I don't trust this. Okay, no, we're fine. We're fine. I thought there might have been a boss waiting for me, because it seemed... It's kind of like, it's quiet. Too quiet. Kind of thing. Oh god, that's a lot of things. There's a repeated message across all banished frequencies. The first part is Hand of Atriox. And then what? Deploy. Chief, where are you? Hold position. We're on our way. I'm sorry, Chief. I can't stay. I've lost his signal. If the Spartan killers find him... That won't happen. How can you be sure? Because they'll need to go through me first. <laughs> oh my god, I love the Chief so much. Chief is awesome. But okay, so, couple things there. One, I just got an achievement for clearing out the guns in less than 20 minutes. The recording's right now in an hour and nine minutes. So, uh... I mean, I'll take the free achievement, but I definitely didn't earn that at all, because that was not less than 20 minutes. So, uh... Don't know what... I don't know how it... I don't know how it calculated that, also. Just in case... Hello. I'm gonna grab this, because I don't trust this. I, I, I feel a boss fight coming on. I very much feel a boss fight coming on right here, and I, 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 I want this just to be safe. Yeah, actually, yeah, it says right up there. It says it right up there. Defeat, what was, what were their names? Uh, defeat Tovaris and Hyperius. All right, hold on. 
So yeah, there is a boss fight coming up ahead. I, I had a feeling. We've got well a lot. See that chopper? I guess that's one of the Spartan killers. And there's the other one. Up there in the wreckage. You need to stop them. Okay. I'm not worried. I mean I actually am kinda worried because you built these guys up a lot, so I'm I am actually mildly concerned. But we'll make it work. We'll make this work. I just need to I just need to let them not let them shoot this out of my hands. Oh, okay, I see you now. I see you now. One boss is up there. I kind of want to save this then. I want to save this for when I get closer. All right, let me grapple onto you and stick you. I missed the stick. That's fine. That's fine. It's fine that I missed the stick. Okay. Uh, spike grenades. We're full on those. Okay, what are we dealing with? Oh, hi! Can I just... All right. I mean... Oh, but I shouldn't stay here. I shouldn't stay here. Almost like I just... Oh, okay, that worked. Uh, move, 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 move. Uh, thruster, 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 thrust away, thrust away, thrust away. And then drop all down, drop all down, drop all down. Uh, this is a bad spot. I need to move, I need to move, I need to move. And I need to move fast. Uh, okay. That was, that was a good first push. But you're not gonna stay that low for long because your shield's gonna regen. I gotta keep your shield down. I gotta keep your shield down and try to stick you. Uh, okay, we're fine. I didn't expect him to be right around the damn corner. Oh, good lord almighty. The grenades. Oh, good lord. Okay, that was... Didn't, didn't expect that to explode in front of me. This is gonna be tough. This is gonna be real tough. Two boss battles in the same? All right. Well, I mean, if I can get, I just need to get him out of that chopper. If I can get him out of that chopper, it shouldn't be that bad. Hella, I missed that up horrendously. Is if I can get him out of that chopper, because I got him out of that chopper, like, right away. If I can get him out of there again, this shouldn't be that bad. So long as he's in the chopper, it's a problem. But if he's out of the chopper, that's less of a problem. I don't see him. Why don't I see him? Where is he? I don't, I don't see, I don't see the chopper anywhere. Not this time anyway. Which, I mean, I see him up there, but I don't see the other chopper anywhere. Which is, oh, he's, oh, he's, okay, he's over there. Hi, buddy. I need a threat sensor on you at all times, if I can manage it. Oh, I think I stuck it perfectly. Now get wrong. That was close. That was very close. Now charge him down. I missed the charge. That's good. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad. Wreck his face. Uh, come on. He, okay, he's low, he's low, he's low, he's low. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Keep shooting, keep shooting, keep shooting. Keep shooting. Oh, he's so low. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out. Uh, nice. Grenades out, grenades out. Oh, boy. All right, one's down. Now get me out of here. Let's regroup. Watch out, Chief. He's calling in backup. Oh, great. My favorite. I like it when an enemy's calling backup. That's my favorite. Oh, we're running low on ammo. I should have restocked before I came here. This is a, this is a dumb idea. Uh, okay, let's try to get around the wreckage if I can. Get around this way. Let's see what we can do. Let's try to get on, uh, let me see if I can get on top of this thing. Uh, if I can, which of course I can, because this game is awesome. Okay, this could go, this could be, this could go very well. Uh, I don't want to waste shots. Oh my god, another sniper? Where? Oh, it's, of course it's a brute sniper, the worst kinds. Hey friends, you want to piss off? Thanks. Alright, where'd you go, buddy? Where's the boss? My, oh, so many snipers. Okay, don't fall. Uh, boss where? I don't see the boss. I don't know where he went. I do not know. This is alarming. I can't see where the boss is, and I just fell down here. Oh. Oh, there he is. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. Hey, friend. Let me drain your shield with this real quick, and then try to stick you. I stuck you. Ah, oh, wrong, wrong thing, wrong thing. More grenades. Okay. Yeah, I, I need a better weapon than the battle rifle for this, but I don't know where I'm gonna find that. Because the pulse carbine will shred his shields in an instant. Uh, okay, I think I need the I think, I think I need the thruster for this. Actually, I, I guess I'll put the grapple shot out initially, so I can get closer to him. Uh, after I after I drain his shield, that is, so I can stick him with a grenade like this. Oh, I'm gonna miss horrendously. Also, perfectly valid option. Also, perfectly valid option to miss horrendously. Okay, let me get in there. See what's in there. Uh, this. Okay. Where'd he go? He's up there. That didn't do anything. That did absolutely nothing because I missed it. Okay. Just go. Just get further up here. I can't let a shield regen. It shield needs to stay not regening. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going? Get back here. Get your ass back here. Stop running. Stop running away from me. Uh, can I can I just melee him to death? Maybe. It's gonna take a while though. Is he, is he just running away like a little bitch? Are you just gonna run? He's gonna run, buddy. Yeah, keep running away, buddy. 
I got him scared now. Okay. Okay. Th okay, I think you deserve a teabag for that one. You deserve a teabag for that one, buddy. I'm not the one- I'm not typically one to do that, but when you go down that embarrassingly. What if Eshram sends more? Let him. Echo 216. Nothing. But I think I can... Yes. Comms are still offline, but I was able to activate his tracking beacon remotely. He's... He's out in the open. The UNSC ship graveyard. I hope he's okay. He's searching for condors. Okay. Well, we'll join up with him in a second. As soon as I get... As soon as I take care of these freaking stalker rifle snipers. Actually, I'll also after I listen to... Is this not an audio log, or is it in here? Oh, wow, that's a sneaky one. That's a very sneaky hidden audio log. Killing Eshram is the only viable option we have. A power vacuum like that would destabilize the banished and win us the footing we need to hold out until help arrives. I need volunteers, and I know I'll have no shortage of them. We all want a part of this. But we can't all go and leave Reverie undefended. So we're doing this the old-fashioned way. John Strauss. Are you kidding, Griffin? No, I'm not. This is the plan. A single strike team deep in banished territory. Agile, quiet, on foot. It's the only way it's going to work. This might be a one-way trip. So we need people to stay. Or there won't be anything left to protect. Yeah, so that's the thing with with Aatrox. Aatrox is apparently, you know, this would have been good to know was here a minute ago, but Aatrox is apparently dead. Um, which is int like that's a gutsy move because Aatrox is one of the most well-regarded villains in the entire series. So to kill him off, that's gut. That's that's like killing. Maybe not on the same level as killing a Cortana levels of gutsy because killing a Cortana was the gutsiest thing 343's ever done, because that's like, that was their debut project. The first game, not only the first Halo game, but the first game in general that they ever shipped was Halo 4. That was the first game that that team, that studio that developed it, ever shipped was Halo 4. So, imagine your debut game, you kill off one of the most beloved video game characters of all time. Now, to be clear, I'm not mad about it, they did it in a respectful way, and it was a really emotional, heartbreaking scene. But seriously, like, you gotta have some serious balls to kill off a character like that in your first, in your debut game. So, uh, definitely, it's not on par with that in terms of, like, gutsy moves, but it's up there. Because Aatrox is a really well-liked villain. So, definitely a, uh, gutsy move on their part to do that. But I'm curious, because my initial thought was that maybe the Harbinger took him down, but it, it, it kind of seems like he died by the UNSC's hand... Uh, or maybe, uh, it was probably more accurate as he might have just died, uh, he might have just died- Oh, there's more BR ammo here? Don't mind if I do. He, he might have actually just died in the, uh, any audio logs up here? Aha! I had a feeling there might be one up here. He might have- he might have just died in the explosion after he yeeted Chief off the edge of the infinity. Who knows? But, maybe we'll get some more info on that with this audio log right here. What am I looking at? Frigate. Mulsan class. Hall identification reads Mortal Reverie. If we're gonna make any noise on this ring, we need a base of operations. It's beat to hell, but it's shelter. Defensible location, no sign of banished activity. Yeah, this could work. Any Spartans in comms range? Spartan Griffin is in range, but his signal is diminishing rapidly. I'll keep it brief. Open up a channel. I think we found our rendezvous point. So is this the reverie then? Like I got the impression that they were actually, that they were talking about taking out Aatrox while they were still on the Infinity. But perhaps these are actually because they were talking about how they, it's a frigate and this would be like this is an easily defendable location. So perhaps this is this was their base of operations uh, to 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 launch the strike force from to go take out Aatrox. Hello, you can take a grenade. Did I stick him. I stuck him. Nice. Very nice. Perhaps this was their lo their defendable location uh, to keep an eye on, and then launch the strike force and Aatrox from. That that might make, that might make sense if that if that was what that was. Uh, but for the time being, we won't we won't have an answer. We'll, we'll probably piece it together as we go along. Okay, can this thing please explode already? Maybe. No. 
How many more shots? Okay, hold on. Take this. Let me take your pulse carbine real quick. Uh, where'd it go? Oh, I guess I'll just take the mangler instead. It's like the mangler and use this. Thank you. Now, give me back my assault rifle. Wherever it... Okay, over here. They roll a bit when you drop them down. Okay. Now, where... Oh, am I going the wrong way? Uh, you know what? I'm going the complete wrong direction. That's... I thought, you know, I probably should have scanned. I thought I was going the right way. I was not. I probably should have scanned before actually making headway in a certain direction so I didn't end up getting lost. But it's fine. I, I got distracted by collectibles. And, uh... Can I escape through this hole? Yes, I can. Awesome. Neato mosquito. I was like, it's a bit of a hike away. Bit of a hike away to actually get the... To get over to where the pilot is. But yeah, I think... I think we're gonna see... Because we saw in the cutscene after... Or, or during Eshram's speech... Oh, that's a warthog. Don't mind if I do. It's gonna be a long road to get to that pilot. During Eshram... After Eshram's... Audio log? No, that's just the ammo. I guess I can stock up on ammo. During Eshram's speech... Wait, did we not just... Is the game fucking with me? I swear to God, I... So I was going the right way, and then... D did it not point me in the other direction a second ago? Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's right here. Oh, never mind. The thing's right... Oh, no one... Okay, so it, so I just ran past it. Oh, okay. Never mind. I just ran past it. I thought I was looking for somewhere other than this. Oh. Hey, buddy. Animals. Chief. My eyes didn't deceive me back there. We need to go. Three. You and see condors. Seeing one is rare. Finding three? It's a miracle. I should have known better. Torn apart. Completely gutted. Sleep space drives obliterated. We don't have the time. Over there's another. Shattered and cratered over a kilometer. In there. The last one. All of it. Crushed. Broken. Beaten. Useless. Enough. When? When is it enough, Chief? When we're in there? Because that's where I belong. In there. With them. Worthless junk. Not this. I'm not you! I'm not a pilot! I'm not even a soldier! A marine! I'm a fraud! I stole that pelican! I stole it! Do you know why? Of course you don't! Have you ever been scared? So scared that you... I'm worthless. You should leave me here with the rest of the garbage. We all fail. We all make mistakes. It's what makes us human. I'm sorry, Chief, but how have you ever failed? Ah, uh, um... I should have protected Cortana. Yeah. Stopped everything from going wrong. I failed her. I will not fail you. Chief. Wait. We're going to make it. I... We have to. This is all I've got. It's all we need. Our only way home is straight through the heart of the banished. We need you. We can fix this. Together. Of course we can. Together. So? What's the plan? Let me guess. It's dangerous and it's probably going to get us killed. <laughs> I 
I have my answer. Let's do this. <sighs> okay, I'll, I'll get my thoughts on that in a second. I'm just gonna wait for the uh, cutscene to finish. You are losing control. Nothing is lost. Deploy your army. Descend upon him. No, odds will not break him. The Spartan is not alone. There's something here helping him, connected to this installation. What is it? It's remarkably vulnerable, but highly intelligent. Is it a weakness? Something to exploit? We will see. The reformation is controlled from this spire. It must be protected. Done. Atriarchs believed you to be valuable. Prove him correct. When the Endless are found, and when you have your ring, then you will never question my worth, and I will never question your judgment. <laughs> the scent grows stronger. Save your strength. I need something of you, old friend. Anything. Bring me the Master Chief. Alive. <laughs> oh my god. Ready when you are, Chief. Okay. So this is going to be a long episode, but I have a lot to say about that. So, first things first. That 343 has learned from their mistakes when it comes to writing well. Because in Halo 4, they nailed it. They nailed The emotional dynamic between Chief and Cortana is some of the best writing the series has ever had. Uh, arguably the best. I at least in terms of character-driven stuff. Halo 5 did not have that. Halo 5 had none of that. There wasn't even a single scene in that game that had even a slice of character. Unless you... In a couple of the hub missions, if you wait for- Excuse me, Grunt, I'm delivering a monologue again. Please shut up. If you wait for long enough, you will get, a, like, a taste of Buck's backstory and, and Vale and Tanaka. If, if you wait long enough in some of the hub missions, you'll get a little bit of their backstory. I can't grapple the pelican. Big sad. But in the main story, there was nothing. But this dynamic between the Chief and the pilot and Cortana is just- It, it, it all works so well together. Because, just- the chief, the chief feels like he, like I said at the beginning of the game, he feels like he failed. He failed to stop the Banished from destroying the the Infinity and killing everyone and c taking control of the ring. And he failed to protect, he failed to keep Watana alive. And he failed to protect her from falling to the to the weight of the of the of the domain and the Forerunner legacy, and for failed to pre for prevent her from becoming a galactic dictator. So he he knows what it's like to fail. Like he may and he may not look like it because he always has those really tough one liners. Like, cause he'll have to get through me. But he's not just he's not just a cyborg. He does he has that heart. Beneath the Melonia your armor, he has a big old heart. And he knows. Cause like just the small gesture like he knows he knows how to show his emotion. Like showing the dominance of like enough, that's enough. You're you're overreacting, we need to calm down. And dropping down, cause the chief towers over the pilot. But just dropping down on one knee to get to his level and just have a one on one heart to heart. And show that emotion. Show that he is a human underneath that Melonia armor. Yeah, I, I, I missed it. I missed seeing that stuff from Halo. From Halo, like I, Halo Four just showed a side of the chief I never knew I wanted. And now that, it, and it was gone on Halo Five, and it's back in Halo Infinite. But then, on the other side of the spectrum, also the pilot's stuff, where it's just he's not, he's not a pilot. He's not a soldier. He's not a marine. He's not a sport. He's just a dude. He's just a guy who who just wants to get home to his family, and he's desperate to do whatever he has to to do it. And you can feel that play because he's just 
because we're we as humans we're not a Spartan. We don't we can't do what Chief does, but we can relate to the because when we and we still like we still relate to Chief anyway. But the pilot is just he's just a dude, and we're just people as well. So we can feel his plight there. We can feel the plight of the of the pilot. We can feel the resil resilience and failure and, her and heroics of the Chief, and we can feel that sense of discovery and just shut up, dude. I'm praising your I'm praising your character. Give me a minute, and you can feel the sense of just. Like open-eyed optimism and wonder and discovery and curiosity of, of the weapon being like, first of all, what's a banish and stuff like that, and just and the way they clash together and all their personalities go against each other and Chief's failure b uh, bouncing off of the weapon's replacement as Cortana and the, uh, Cor uh, the weapon just decided to help anyone she can. It just ah, oh, all works together so well. And on the villain side of things. I think it's what I, that's kind of indicated to me exactly what I thought, which is the Harbinger wants them to think she's helping her or she's helping them, but she has her own agenda going on beneath the surface. Uh, and the, the this dynamic the dynamic between Eshram and the Spartan Killer and the 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 relationship that they all have together, and the big thing to take away aside from the fact that we're clearly giving up for a Spartan Killer boss battle, they said there's something in the ring helping the chief that's very intelligent. I, it's not exactly a big brain play to predict this, but I can almost guarantee you that's going to end up being Cortana. I don't know how she's alive. I don't know what the serv I don't know what happened between the weapon securing her for deletion and uh, us and getting to this point. But I would be astounded if the thing on this ring that's helping the helping chief isn't Cortana. But there's only one way to find out, and it's to keep pressing forward. And I am so goddamn excited to keep playing and see what happens next. So that'll be it for now. Thank you all for watching this extended episode, and hope to see you all tomorrow for some more Halo Infinite. Goodbye.